In recent weeks, Ukrainian forces have shared photographs of captured PTKM-1R mines. These are without doubt Russia's most advanced anti-tank mine. The PTKM-1R's main feature is that it's a top attack munition, much like a javelin or an Enlaw. It can strike down from above at a tank's least protected point. Its roof, an engine deck. Hi guys, welcome to another video from the Armourer's Bench. Today we're going to be talking about Russia's most advanced anti-tank mine. The mines are essentially brand new and were only publicly unveiled by Rosabron Export in November 2021 at Russia's Army 2021 Exposition and they've been adopted by the Russian Armed Forces on a limited basis. The PTKM-1R was first seen in Ukraine back in late April with a single photograph appearing to show one of the mines deployed. In the six months since Russia's invasion, Russia haven't shared any footage of the mines in action. The PTKM-1R is a top attack anti-tank anti-vehicle mine, which is designed to detect the passage of target vehicles using acoustic and seismic sensors. The launching charge then detonates and projects a submunition up into the air towards the target. As the sensor-fused submunition flies over the target and detects movement below, it detonates, firing an explosively formed penetrator down onto the vehicle, attacking where its armour is weakest. The mine can engage targets between 5 and 50 metres away, but can detect the target out of 100 metres. Targets are initially identified by the mine by comparing a detected signature with acoustic and seismic signatures held in its internal database. Once a target is detected, the mine calculates a flight path and the launch unit tilts 30 degrees towards the target to create a parabolic ballistic trajectory over the enemy vehicle. While the mine can detect targets in a 360 degree arc, the mine itself has a limited firing arc. This is limited by the need to tilt before firing. The mine itself has a towards target arrow for orientating the mine in the direction of expected engagement. But in an Army 2021 presentation, Rosabron Export suggests that the mine can turn itself to face its target and track it if needed. The submunition is launched into the air at a speed of 30 meters per second to a height of about 30 meters. It then uses infrared sensors and radar to pinpoint its target before detonating its shape charge to create an explosively formed penetrator. Rosabron Export claimed that the mine can penetrate at least 70 millimeters of armor. The PTKM-1R can be considered an off-route mine, like the German DM-22, which we've already covered, and the Estonian PK-14s both of which are known to be in use with Ukrainian forces. But the Russian mine's ability to strike from above is what sets it apart. The nearest similar system is the short-lived US M93 Hornet, developed by Textron in the 80s. The wide area mine, WAM, will be available in several configurations, including hand-emplaced and volcano variants. Targeted for use in the enemy's rear areas, WAM's advantages are its ability to detect targets and to attack the top of the vehicle. The launch unit or transporter launcher incorporates eight base plates which are lowered when the mine is deployed. These provide a stable platform. According to Rosabron Export, the PKTM-1R weighs 19.9 kilograms, while its payload is said to be around 2.8 kilograms of explosive. There are two seismic sensors which sense the vibrations caused by approaching vehicles and there are also four microphones at the top of the unit which listen for the sounds of heavy armoured vehicles. We got our second look at the mines on around the 10th of September when a second mine was photographed showing it undeployed and still in its transit chest. The mine was captured reportedly by the SSO in the Kharkiv region on the eastern front where recent fighting has been significant and Russian forces appear to be rapidly falling back. Thank you to knowledgeable colleagues Patrick Semft and Neil Gibson whose work I referenced for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Please do share the videos with friends, and if you'd really like to support the channel and this project, please consider supporting us over on Patreon. We have lots of perks to say thank you for your support, including postcards and stickers, and of course, early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.